Hey everyone at Quantum Life. I am doing a quick energy update this morning for you guys and um, a lot more of these to come as the energy is just going to be increasing, increasing, increasing on the planet. And sometimes, um, sometimes I have a, um, just like everyone, I go, I go within to process everything that's going on and I just thought, um, you know, instead of going in my solitude moment and working out some things that I might as well just jump on quantum life and, and let you guys see inside um, of what's going on with the collective right now and what's going on. Um, anything that I left off from Second Sunday, everyone who attended online for Second Sunday, I always appreciate you being there and holding space for me, um, but also uh, being a part of that because it's, um, it's not always easy. For the last three Second Sundays uh, that I've done, Right before Second Sunday, I have like had some catastrophic event take place. And I think it's ironic that um, no matter what is going on in my life, I still have to kind of show up and still do my job. And my job is basically my mission on the planet, which is to um, be that messenger and to inspire that we are all in this together and there there is not only hope but there is there's a lot of support in us all becoming who we ask to be um, and it's just uh, it's just been month after month after month and it's really like pushed me to the edge of sometimes me not wanting to show up but what it's done is it's pushed me into that really uncomfortable place where I have to make changes um, and and that's usually what happens with us because we're all stubborn children at heart. You know, it, it's really easy to get comfortable. And it's even, it's even comfortable to be in pain at sometimes because the pain is familiar. Um, the pain is something that you're used to. It's something that your body's used to. You have certain coping devices that you use to get through your day, to get through your relationship, to get through your job. And, and that's really what's been, been taught to me in the last few months is pushing you outside of, um, even the comfort of this, this settling that we've done, it's making the settling uncomfortable. It's like we can't use our same reward systems anymore to feel better about our, um, our, our lives that are not who and what we say it is. And, and that's really what's been happening to me. It's like there's been certain things in my life that have been comfortably painful. And, you know, we know as parents, we know as employees, we know as bosses, we know as daughters and spouses and all of these things that that it's like there's certain things that we do obligationary in life that we get comfortable doing that are completely out of alignment of who we are and that's what's been kind of happening with me the last few months is I've been really pushed into a lot of my old patterns and I'm I'm trying to use those same reward systems to kind of get through what I've been obligated to do or show up and none of it's comfortable anymore and it's it's very it's very uncomfortable to be um, a very aware of abusive patterns that I have myself created on myself or that I've allowed other people to um, you know demonstrate towards me and um, and that's why the last couple of weeks I've been channeling this new modality about breaking patterns and I'm teaching it in Tika um, I'm teaching it in Tika live and then we're practicing as a school to really um, move through our patterns of of our unbecoming, you know, to me, the, the you that resides underneath all of your filters is divine perfection. There's nothing you need to change. There's nothing you need to learn. There's nothing that you need to become. This whole process of ascension is literally removing the filters, the belief systems, the patterns, the programs, the, the, the negative limitations that we have defined ourselves to keep us feeling worthy in a world that is very easy to feel worthless in. I mean, the collective energy on the planet is worthlessness right now. And, and that's not, I'm not saying that's what you're feeling. I'm saying collectively, about when I tap in into a meditation, that's literally what I'm feeling is this underlying root unworth. And that's why we put ourselves in situations constantly to be devalued so that we can see ourselves running our own programs. And that's exactly what Second Sunday was about yesterday, was we're being becoming very aware of the programs that we're running and our self-rewarding mechanisms to feel worthy or false power are no longer really working for us. 
And it, it coincides with the perfect astrology on the planet, the numerology of the exact day and the month and the full moon and the new moons and the solstice that's coming up. And literally what the universe is providing for us is the perfect energetic place for us to become more aware of ourselves. This is a self-realization journey. And in the self-realization journey, we are being pushed into closer to the mirror with the lights on than we have ever been in our entire life. And we're being able to see with a higher level of responsibility, the ability to respond, who we are playing in that part of our lives and who we're not playing and where we've given our power away and where we've lost self-respect. You know, in, in, in um, class a few weeks back, I went on a rant about how I realized that I didn't have a ton of self-respect in relationships and, and that I didn't have good boundaries in relationships and, and it was all kind of coming to a head and I'm the type of teacher that I want to process my life because I know that there's shadows of my life in all of your lives because we're really in this together we all have a totally different storyline but we are totally in this together as far as what we're actually processing right now the whole planet is processing solar plexus disempowerment unworthiness issues we're all feeling unworthy where we put our heart on the line we're all feeling not good enough where we've given so much more than we've returned and so we're feeling kind of in self-judgment of ourselves we're, we're kind of beating ourselves up right now because the thing is is once you really get aware you realize that there's nothing outside of you and so when it's you that has to take responsibility for all of our creations it's very easy for us to move into self-judgment towards ourselves and so that's what I wanted to share with you guys this morning was you know this this process of depatterning or clearing the programs um, within our our heart space, within our truth, within our knowing, within our root, which is our survival, within our sacred sexuality, which is our creation. When we're clearing all of that out, what we're doing is we're not becoming this super being. We're first having to unbecome everything that we've been playing the part of. See, it's like we've been faking it. We've been faking the sumer hero. We've been faking the fact that we've settled. We've been faking the fact that um, we're a good friend when it's one-sided. You know, we, we have made excuses for everything in our lives so that we can feel better. And just like any drug addict, we all have a reward system that we use to feel better, whether it's, you know, I'm not happy with my job, I'm not happy with my life, but you know what, when I get home at night, the TV, it takes all of those feelings away so that I can just numb out and so that I can do it all over again because you know what, I gotta put food on the table. I have that obligation to this, this group of people. I said yes to this person. You know, this person has seen me through my darkest hours. I owe them the whole world. I have to stay by their side now that they're in their dark place. And these are all false limiting beliefs, but we have so long practiced these muscles because energy is just like a muscle. We've practiced this behavior of basically this um, self abuse. You know, anytime we let someone else abuse us, we are saying yes to that. So we are in a form of self abuse. And I don't mean you need to leave your spouse or change your job. But the process of this unbecoming needs to be highly supported by the bigger version of you. Otherwise, it's really easy to drop into humiliation with yourself and guilt and shame towards yourself. And, and I mean, I know that I've been going through that in moments. And then I have to go into the higher perspective and say, okay, everything is perfect and divine. And let me find where I was placing my reward systems to cover up my pain. Because we really are doing that. You know, if you're in an abusive relationship, like what's your reward system? Going and talking to your therapist, feeling better. Going and inventing to your best friend, feeling better. You know, um, screaming at your spouse, feeling better. But that's not actually like solving the pattern. Because the thing is, it's a pattern is a cycle of manifestation, circumstances, or triggers that continues over and over and over again. And when those cycles continue, it's a different place, a different face, a different place, a different circumstance, but it is the same feeling that's buried underneath there. You know, we wear our heart on our sleeves as indigos, and a lot of the times, um, if you haven't chosen the direction of recluse, then you've chosen the, the direction of being extroverted and putting your heart on the line extroverted. But the thing is, is even if you're an introvert, you're still putting your heart on the line, but you're protecting it in a different way. I teach in Tika that the ego has two personalities, victim or perpetrator. And in the other side of the realm, it's like victim and, and hero complex because it's easy to say, well, perpetrator is hurting someone. But sometimes when you're being the, hurt, the hero of someone's life, you're actually being the perpetrator because you're not here to rescue 
rescue anybody. You're here to hold space, you're here to be a mirror, you're here to be a reflection, and you're here to inspire your own example towards what light looks like. We're not here to save anyone, and when we're actually saving someone from pain or discomfort or leaving someone behind, we're actually playing the hero complex that is false love and false empowerment for us because then it feels better for us to not abandon someone. But what if abandoning someone is also self-abuse towards yourself? So these are all the things that are going on right now energetically on the planet. And um, it's definitely something that I am working through firsthand in relationships. And, and you know, I talk about the four key focal points of an earth experience or a human experience, and that is time, money, relationships, and health. And there's some people who have a really great energetic money line that they don't have to worry about money, but they're, everything I'm talking about right now is totally happening in your relationships or totally happening within your own body or totally happening with your time management. And I say time in this, in this game because we utilize time as a marker for holding time and space so that we can actually have physical experiences and um, we're really good at abusing our time, giving away our time, pissing away our time, you know, and these are, this time is, this is something that we use to recalculate, refocus, um, clear or upgrade our own frequencies. And when we're not using time valuably, it's, it's like the one most self abusing thing that we can do because everybody has 24 hours in a day and you know, people say, Oh, well I can't do that. And I can't do that. And I can't do that. And that's actually one of the things that I'm working on right now with myself is I'm, I'm always quick to say, well, I don't have time to do that. And the truth is, is that that is a reward system because I can be doing something else that distracts me, that makes me feel better than the thing that I'm actually supposed to be doing. So I'm using time as a victim support system in my reward process. And that's something I'm being very honest about and saying, you know what, it's time for me to actually take time and in the forms of where I am self-disciplined that's healthy for me and expansive for me, I have to remold the way that I see time. And so I'm using my seven step process to actually remold how I look at the frequency of time. And I'm remolding my frequencies of how I look at the relationships. And because again, you know, growing up your first seven years, you download these programs of what relationships are, what love is, how you're seen in your environment, how you're judged in your environment, how you're judging yourself in your environment. It all takes place in these first seven years. So we're downloading all these programs and then we're just acting it out. And we're like, wow, does, why does this keep happening? You know, this, this same pattern keeps recycling because the belief, which is a mindset. And to me, what a mindset is, is this whole bunch of beliefs that are reorganized and create neural pathways in the brains that hold your focus subconsciously on the pattern while your extroverted part, your conscious part is going, but I wanna be in love and I want lots of great friendships. And the you that's underneath going, running the program is saying, Heck no, that's the most unsafe thing we could do. It's unsafe to heal this body because then we'd have to put ourselves out there and turn our light on. It's unsafe for me to put myself out into a healthy relationship, so I'm gonna choose people that are not quite at my level. They're gonna end up hurting me anyways, but my reward system for not putting myself out there and falling madly in love and, and, and moving towards love is I'm gonna move towards comfortable and safe, and then I'm going to go to my friends and bitch about it as my reward system. We've all done it. You know, it's it's just who we've been. And I mean, I'm a life coach, so I hear it every week. I, I'm the reward system for many, many people. And, and I am the crutch, I am the ibuprofen. And so what I decided to do is turn my teachings towards being the ibuprofen that actually holds you accountable as myself accountable to say, okay, this is great that you're coming to me to feel better for this hour. But if we're not going to actually break these patterns, then I'm not your coach anymore. And that's part of my self-respecting journey towards healing relationships is I know I've been that crutch. And I want to now be the empowerment to make that, that energy responsive towards yourself again and help you break patterns. Because the thing is, is once we break patterns, it doesn't mean that we don't get to be ourselves anymore. It's what we do is we get to be free. And the ego is so afraid of what that looks like. The ego is so afraid of you to turn on your light. Your ego is so afraid of you to put yourself out there and really connect with someone that you truly deserve that's a partnership, not a relationship, a soulmate that's not a wound mate. But that takes a lot of vulnerability. 
that takes a lot of courage that takes a lot of discipline and that takes a lot of practice but it doesn't mean that there needs to be a lot of time involved because intention trumps time and space every single time and that's why this new pattern process that i'm teaching in tika um and we're 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 setting it up where it's such an important process that you don't have to join tika to get this information you can actually buy it as a um, a workshop that you do at home it's going to be about four plus out four plus plus hours of the actual class but then sub teachings and lots and lots of notes and worksheets to actually make sure that you really download this into your subconscious on how to break a root based self limiting program okay and I'm doing it right now with relationships and and it's um it's been very enlightening to see that I thought I was doing it right the whole time because again, I was following my highest excitement. I was following my um, reward system, which was actually to hide, believe it or not. And I didn't even notice this until I really, really put myself into this um, process. So I just wanted to give you guys this update because the update right now on the planet is, is it's unworthiness that's running and it's running at the core place of, of who we are and you know even though we feel good enough for the accomplishments that we've made there's this place inside of you that's still sabotaging that light within and we're distracting ourselves with um, addictive based people and foods and busyness and drama and fill in the blank you know and I talked about it in Second Sunday I don't know why it was so emotional yesterday for me probably just because um it's it's me putting myself out there more vulnerable than I've ever been because I'm working through these patterns and so what I'm having to do is expose a lot of myself to myself and I know that sounds crazy but you know when you stop hiding from yourself and you stop lying from yourself that's where you have to be even more nurturing towards yourself and more kind and it's like when your child finally comes and sits on your lap and tells you the truth about something that they did the last thing that you want to do is now demean them because they're saying I really need you more now than ever and and that's where I feel like I am with myself and so I'm going to just kind of put it all out there for you guys to see and hope this is holding space for you and holding a mirror for you to give you the courage to set yourself free as well um, I'm gonna actually jump into the paid group right now and do a little bit of expanded teachings on this pattern work for them to have for the day. Um, it's going to be, uh, people can definitely prepay for the pattern. Um, I don't know if we're gonna call it a workshop or a downloadable, but it's definitely gonna be a workshop. It's gonna be amazing value. Um, and anyone who right now um, emails uh, us from to Transcendence, I'll give you 20% off of the $199 price um, from watching this video. And um, it will be ready to go on Friday of this week and you will have it live in your inbox um, for your own personal journey to go break all of your self-limiting patterns. So I'm gonna jump into the paid group right now and do an expanded teachings on this so that they can have some more tools to get through the week because this week is really revving up energetically and the mirrors are just really close and the lights are really on. So um, I'm here sharing my journey with you guys and I love all your feedback. I love your comments. Um, I love your questions. I'm gonna be doing a question and answer in the free group on Friday. Uh, and I will post um, so a link so that you can start asking your questions there. And thank you guys all for tuning in to Second Sunday and holding space for me that way. And um, I will see you soon.